Are you interested in fragmenting even very hard materials or in decomposing composite materials into their components so as to be able to put them through recycling processes? If so, you may be interested to hear about the technology of the Karlsruhe Fragmentation Plants, Franka for short. Our plants at the Karlsruhe Research Center use the method of electrodynamic fragmentation to handle hard, brittle materials with high electric resistivity. On the one hand, these materials can be comminuted to grain sizes variable between coarse fragments and grain as fine as dust. One outstanding advantage of the method lies in the minimal amount of impurities transferred into the substances so treated, which is different from the classical grinding processes. On the other hand, the process allows composite materials to be decomposed into their separate constituent materials. In electrodynamic fragmentation, materials are processed in a water pool acting as the dielectric and exposed to high voltage pulses ranging up to 420 kV. The edges of these pulses are extremely steep, thus reaching their maximum levels within less than 200 nanoseconds, which is less than one millionth of a second. At these extremely short pulse rise times, water has a higher breakdown strength to high voltage than most classical insulators, such as porcelain. As a consequence, the high voltage discharges initiated under water preferably run through the interior of the materials to be processed releasing practically the entire energy available. As the energy acts only for a brief span of time, very high powers of up to 1 gigawatt are generated, which results in extremely high peak pressures in the solid. If the solid is brittle enough, it is decomposed by the forces acting inside it. Electric currents flow preferably along grain boundaries and boundaries of materials, where they sever connections. Hence, composite materials and minerals in this way can be decomposed into their components and recycled. Processing in Franca uses no rotating or other movable tools. The only part subject to wear in the process compartment is the high voltage electrode, which may be made of simple structural steel. The Franca technology can be used for many purposes. For instance, it allows for the first time to recover all constituents of old concrete, a composite material. That's to say the gravel aggregates, sand, cement, and even the steel used for reinforcement, and make them available for reuse in new, high-grade concrete components. When liquid nitrogen is used as a dielectric, also, materials and composites with high impact toughness can be embrittled and then treated with Franca. Franca is used successfully also in treating the kind of slag arising when solid municipal waste is incinerated. In this way, the metal components of the slag conglomerates are exposed and can be recycled. The residual slag with its high pollutant contents can be quickly inerted with Franca. The quality achieved matches that normally obtained only after many months of storage and leaching. The Franca 1 pilot plant has confirmed the findings made on a laboratory scale and now furnishes the database necessary to scale up this technology. At the present time a plant is being planned for a new location where 70,000 to 80,000 tons of slag from waste incineration plants are to be processed annually by means of the Franca technology. <laughs>